Lymphadenopathy, Wikipedia article audio. Lymphadenopathy or adenopathy is disease of the lymph nodes, in which they are abnormal in size, number, or consistency. Lymphadenopathy of an inflammatory type is lymphadenitis, producing swollen or enlarged lymph nodes. In clinical practice, the distinction between lymphadenopathy and lymphadenitis is rarely made and the words are usually treated as synonymous. Inflammation of the lymphatic vessels is known as lymphangitis. Infectious lymphadenotides affecting lymph nodes in the neck are often called scrofula. The term comes from the word lymph and a combination of the Greek words alpha delta nu alpha, adenas and pi alpha theta epsilon alpha, pathia. Classification Size Lymphadenopathy is a common and nonspecific sign. Common causes include infections, autoimmune diseases, and cancers. Lymphadenopathy is also frequently idiopathic and self-limiting. Lymphadenopathy may be classified by Lymphadenopathy of the axillary lymph nodes can be defined as solid nodes measuring more than 15 mm without fatty hilum. Axillary lymph nodes may be normal up to 30 mm if consisting largely of fat. Lymphadenopathy of more than 1.5 cm, 2 cm increases the risk of cancer or granulomatous disease as the cause rather than only inflammation or infection. Still, an increasing size and persistence over time are more indicative of cancer. Lymph node enlargement is recognized as a common sign of infectious, autoimmune, or malignant disease. Examples may include Causes Less common infectious causes of lymphadenopathy may include bacterial infections such as cat scratch disease, tularemia, brucellosis, or prevotella. Benign lymphadenopathy is a common biopsy finding and may often be confused with malignant lymphoma. It may be separated into major morphologic patterns, each with its own differential diagnosis with certain types of lymphoma. Most cases of reactive follicular hyperplasia are easy to diagnose, but some cases may be confused with follicular lymphoma. There are seven distinct patterns of benign lymphadenopathy. Benign lymphadenopathy These morphological patterns are never pure. Thus, reactive follicular hyperplasia can have a component of paracortical hyperplasia. However, this distinction is important for the differential diagnosis of the cause. In cervical lymphadenopathy, it is routine to perform a throat examination including mirror and slash or endoscopy. On ultrasound, B-mode imaging depicts lymph node morphology, whilst power Doppler can assess the vascular pattern. B-mode imaging features that can distinguish metastasis and lymphoma include size, shape, calcification, loss of hilar architecture, as well as intranodal necrosis. Soft tissue edema and nodal matting on B-mode imaging suggests tuberculous cervical lymphadenitis or previous radiation therapy. Serial monitoring of nodal size and vascularity are useful in assessing treatment response. Diagnosis Fine needle aspiration cytology has a sensitivity and specificity percentages of 81% and 100%, respectively, in the histopathology of malignant cervical lymphadenopathy. PET-CT has proven to be helpful in identifying occult primary carcinomas of the head and neck, especially when applied as a guiding tool prior to panendoscopy and may induce treatment-related clinical decisions in up to 60% of cases. Size, where lymphadenopathy in adults is often defined as a short axis of one or more lymph nodes is greater than 10 mm, 
by extent, localized lymphadenopathy, due to localized spot of infection e.g., an infected spot on the scalp will cause lymph nodes in the neck on that same side to swell up, generalized lymphadenopathy, due to a systemic infection of the body e.g., influenza or secondary syphilis, persistent generalized lymphadenopathy, persisting for a long time, possibly without an apparent cause. Reactive, acute infection, or chronic infections cat scratch disease, the most distinctive sign of bubonic plague is extreme swelling of one or more lymph nodes that bulge out of the skin as buboes. The buboes often become necrotic and may even rupture. Infectious mononucleosis is an acute viral infection caused by Epstein-Barr virus and may be characterized by a marked enlargement of the cervical lymph nodes. It is also a sign of cutaneous anthrax and human African trypanosomiasis, toxoplasmosis, a parasitic disease, gives a generalized lymphadenopathy, plasma cell variant of Castleman's disease associated with HHV-8 infection and HIV infection, mesenteric lymphadenitis after viral. Systemic infection can commonly present like appendicitis. Tumoral, primary, Hodgkin lymphoma and non-Hodgkin lymphoma give lymphadenopathy in all OR a few lymph nodes, secondary, metastasis, Fircos node, neuroblastoma, and chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Follicular hyperplasia, this is the most common type of reactive lymphadenopathy, paracortical hyperplasia slash interfollicular hyperplasia, it is seen in viral infections, skin diseases, and nonspecific reactions, sinus histiocytosis, it is seen in lymph nodes draining limbs, inflammatory lesions, and malignancies, nodal extensive necrosis, nodal granulomatous inflammation, nodal extensive fibrosis, nodal deposition of interstitial substance.